All right, I'm going to show you guys how to change your uh, type type of rev limiter you have. So normally, a lot of the stock uh, GM vehicles, so I can specifically speak for the GMT 900 platform, trucks and SUVs, the rev limiter, which you'll see in park or neutral, and in first through sixth gear is uh, a throttle cut. So basically it's not a traditional rev limiter where it's bouncing off of it. Uh, it'll actually just be a, the throttle. Well, actually it'll cut the throttle and it kind of just sustains it. Um, some people don't like that. I personally did not like that style of rev limiter. So I played around a little bit with HP tuners more and I figured out kind of how I like it. And this is again very specific to my application so if you have a different different engine more displacement more horsepower you're probably going to want to modify a lot of the tables a little bit more just in terms of the numbers uh, you want you're going to want to play around with the numbers but this will give you a bit of a baseline of where you want to start so open up your file for your your tune and go to engine fuel defco uh, you'll see in my previous video I talked about the burble pop tune so if you want to go to that and you, you can find out how to do that and that's just this area but right now for us in this video we're gonna stick with the RPM limits so basically adjust right here everything in green is what I've modified because I already have my compare file open but let's start at the very top of your cutoff your extreme cutoff I have that set to 6200 so it's a it's a stock motor so it, it on the gauge it only goes up to 6000 so uh, what did I modify that from? 6100. So I bumped it up 200, 100 RPMs um, in gear. So first gear 6000, second second gear 6000. So that's just the rev. That's that's where add the rev limiter is actually going to be active. Uh, fifth gear, sixth gear. So I left those the same because if you're doing 6,000 RPMs in fifth gear, you're probably going very fast. Not really achievable. Um, reverse, 6,000 park, neutral. So I played around, actually, I kind of have the neutral rev, rev limiter set low, so just something to play around with, um, kind of for just f for fun and for giggles. Uh, it was originally 4,000, uh, I set it a little bit, I set it a couple thousand RPMs lower, and you can just mash the throttle in, in neutral, and it will kind of sound like a bit of a two step. So that was kind of what I was trying to play around with, just have some fun with it. But you can see what I did here. Uh, yeah, it was 4,000. That was really the only thing I changed. Everything else I just left the same. I didn't change anything for engine oil temp because um, internally there is no oil temp gauge hooked up into the to the computer so there's no reading for it to go off of so extreme resume so this is kind of where it starts to get a little confusing here in under the command torque delta and command torque but the extreme resume 6000 rpms where the rpm limit extreme resume if extreme cutoff is active so if this cutoff extreme is active the rpm must drop below 6000 rpms to resume the normal limiter op operation so the extreme cutoff our operation is uh, fuel cut. So as it says here in the description below. So it's got a, the hysteresis is, um, I think that's how you pronounce it, hysteresis. God, I could be totally butchering it, but whatever. Um, basically, fuel will resume when the RPM drops below the cutoff RPM by this amount. So it's got to drop to 6,000 and then extra 150. Um, you can kind of play around with these numbers. I would leave the extreme resume probably at your normal red line, and then you can play around with the hysteresis a little bit more. Uh, cold engine modifiers didn't leave it, that left it stock. That's exactly the same because uh, you don't really want to be revving your engine to the rimmer on a cold engine. Uh, spark uh, control methods. So normally stock, this is enabled. So the throttle cut is really what what it has stock. So you want to turn that to disabled and then enable fuel cut and spark. So let's see what, yeah, so you can see on the original tune it, these two were disabled and then uh, the throttle cut was enabled. 
switch over delay. Switch over delay is just how long uh, this control method, the spark and fuel cut, will be active before uh, it switches over to um, back to fuel cut. Or oh, I'm sorry, back to uh, throttle cut. So if you read it, uh, if you read the description below here, it'll go back to ETC. So it switches, it'll switch back over. So this is five seconds. It's it's um, maximum is 410 seconds. So you could set this at the maximum, but I have it set for five seconds. I usually never have a problem with it switching over on me because I'm not on the rev limiter for more than five seconds, anyways. Um, but I, I just left it the same. You can totally increase or decrease that time. Uh, acceleration based, left it the same. So this is this is the real confusing part. So command torque delta and command torque, these are the two tables that you're really going to want to mess with most. Uh, both units are in foot pounds, but starting with command torque delta. So that is, it's kind of there's really no good explanation out there. So I, I kind of found a way to explain it to myself that made sense, uh, but basically. If you were to imagine this zero in the middle of this graph, this chart, this table, is your rev limiter. So your, uh, let's say this zero is at 6,000. So now you're 6,100, 6,200, 300, 400, 500. So you're going that RPM above it or this RPM below it. This is the way it made sense in my mind that I was able to fi figure it out. Now this could totally not be the right explanation but this is kind of how I figured it out. Uh, I maxed it out. Well, I didn't max it out. You can, you can put the torque at maximum of, what, 65,000? Well, the, my engine right now is a 5.3. It's not making more than 400 foot-pounds, not realistically. But if the engine is 100, 100 RPMs over the rev, limit, rev limiter, it will um, decrease the torque by 400. If it's below that, it'll increase it. So it's kind of going to bounce like a traditional rev limiter it's going to bounce a little bit more so if you look at what it was originally this is this is more interpolated so it's going to be way smoother um, and you can see the neutral one where they have that lower rev limiter that's the, really the only one that's different so I had to kind of decrease that because the RPMs are lower and the engine's not producing that much torque um, and I did the same thing for park because the RPM's at uh, 4,000. So I can demonstrate that what that sounds like in a later video. But for first through six, this is what I found given the amount of horsepower my engine was making and torque. This is what worked best. So you probably want to mess around with this a little bit more. You can you can interpolate the data, the tables, to kind of skew it and and change how slow that bounces or how quick it is. And that's something you can modify. So now, moving to this table, same thing in foot pounds. Uh, engine speed. So we're in engine speed per gear, and our units are in foot pounds. I only changed the park. I only changed the, the park table or park uh, line. So I guess I really didn't do a whole lot here. Um, I was able to achieve what I wanted really with command torque delta. So I think the biggest thing is command torque delta. Commanded torque, I guess, didn't really make much of a difference. Um, I stopped playing around with it after I got um, what I wanted. Uh, let's see what the description says. The commanded torque value based on RPM when the li limiter is active. So this is where it, it's, it's just these two are just kind of confusing. In general, the descriptions don't make a lot of sense, and it was hard to find something online. So I kind of just I just started winging it and just seeing what would work. Just started changing values one by one. Um, I got to a point where I, I didn't really have to do much here. But if you're finding your results are you're not achieving the results you want, I would dive a little bit deeper into this table. Unfortunately, I can't give you a whole lot more information beyond the fact that I only changed the park line. Um, but interesting how it's only saying 11 foot pounds. First, to all the way to 1700. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. But, anyways, that's how you do it. That's how you change 
your type of revlin that you have. Um, if you don't like that stupid throttle cut, or if you don't like the park rev limiter you have that's stuck at 4,000, if you want to change that and just peg it up to the moon, by all means, send it. But yeah, thanks for watching.